This is tilapia, a fish native of Africa that today can be found across the developing world. It is in fact easy to breed and farm, and thanks to aquaculture, it has now become a popular protein source for the poor, from Addis Abeba to Sao Paulo. We came to Bangkok to discover the scientific breakthrough behind tilapia's success and to see how wireless technology can be used to boost its production. Aquaculture is the farming of fish and plants in water and it's one of the most important segments of the food industry. In fact, it is the fastest growing food production sector in the world. At the moment, it provides food for almost 4 billion people all over the world. So it's really a solution for the global food security challenge. The aquaculture lab in AIT has been doing a lot of farmer-oriented research. And the most important of those technologies is the tilapia, the most widely farmed fish across the world. The flesh is great demand in most of the consuming nations. It is equally important for the poor people as an income source or as a food commodity. Commercial tilapia production requires a male monosex population. This because males grow faster than females and uncontrolled reproduction prevents fishes from growing. To tackle this problem, in the 80s, AAT kick-started its research in this field. We use a hormone, it's a 17 alpha methyl testosterone. We start feeding tilapia right from its birth with a feed in which we have incorporated this hormone. So we have to feed it for about three to four weeks. And by this time, all the fish would have become males. Because in fish, you know, by birth, it is not male or female. It is how the environment changes. So we provide an environment so that it can transform to males. So after that, we transfer this transformed male fish to a nursery pond and they grow. So it's almost 95 to 96 percent success. Nearly 100 percent success is very good. This hormone is biodegradable and this technology is totally safe. So today, this procedure is used all over the world. Still, AAT's researchers want to bring aquaculture to the next level. Wireless sensor, it's a really a wonderful technology. Tilapia grow-out period is around six months. And during this time, there is a chance that the water quality changes in the pond. And sometimes it becomes a problem for the fish. So what we have to do is to continuously monitor chemical and physical parameters. These uh, sensors, actually three of them, one for pH, one for DO, dissolved oxygen, and temperature. They are immersed constantly in this uh, pond and they transmit information online via the Wi-Fi network from the Arduino board that is installed in this box. It has independent power supply where we have the solar panel and the battery. So it's off-grid, but it's fully functional. This has been transmitting information since December last year. We've been using this to take some management decisions about this pond, especially as it has to do with dissolved oxygen. When it's uh, very low, we aerate the pond, so it just brings in some air into the pond. Unless we provide some kind of digital technique, it's very difficult to manage highly intensive culture systems. So if you use a wireless sensor and a remotely operated equipment, it can easily be monitored and the greatest advantage is that you get real-time data continuously. So you can take all management decisions remotely, so that's a real advantage. We would like to enable the poorer farmers and smaller farmers to have access to this type of facility to enable them to improve their productivity. We started this project recently and we want to scale it up to apply it all over Thailand in the first stage. And then we also have to work on other countries in the region like Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos and Vietnam. All these countries have highly concentrated farms where this technology would really be applicable.